Chapter six, lesson four, algebra, writing expressions. Content target students will understand that real world situations can be solved by writing algebraic expressions to represent them. Our language target today, students will demonstrate this understanding by writing two-step algebraic expressions that represent different situations. To write verbal phrases as algebraic expressions, follow the steps below. In the second step, defining the variable, choose a variable and decide what it represents. So the first thing we want to do is we want to describe the situation. What do we not know? Second thing is we're going to choose a variable to represent the unknown. I usually use W, N, A, and Z. Those letters will not get confused with your addition or subtraction or multiplication or division signs. And then we have to translate your verbal phrase into an algebraic expression. So let's look at the first example. $8 more than Ryan earned. So what don't we know? We don't know how much Ryan earned. That's our variable. So that for me will be my W. So then I go back, more than. When I see the word more than, I know that that is an addition sign because we're adding to what Ryan already has. And how much more? Well, that is $8 more. So to write my algebraic expression, I'm going to write it as Ryan earned W plus, that's more than, $8. Look at example number two, $10 less than the original price. Well, what was the original price? That's what we don't know. That's our variable. Again, I'll say that's N. Less than. Less than means that I have to take some money away. So that's my subtraction. How much money are we going to take away from the original price? That's $10. So to write my expression, I have the original price, N, minus $10. Four times the number of gallons. So we have four times the number of gallons. Well, how many gallons do we have? We don't know. So we're going to say let G represent gallons this time. And we need to know the number of gallons. So four times the number of gallons. So times tells me that we have to multiply. And we're going to multiply that by four. So we can write this in one of a couple ways. We can take four times G. We can go four times G in parentheses, or the one that you'll see quite a bit is four G. So letter A. To have four points fewer than the bull scored. Well, how many points did the bull score? We don't know. That's our variable. Points, four points fewer. Fewer tells me I need to subtract. And subtract what? Four. So I take what the bull scored, which is N, and I subtract four. So the letter B, 
12 times the number of feet. 12 times the number of feet. Well, how many feet do we have? We don't know. That's my variable. 12 times. Times tells me to multiply. And we're going to multiply by 12. So to write my expression for letter B is going to be 12 times W or 12 W. Please pause the video and try letter C on your own. C is asking the total cost of a shirt and an $8 pair of socks. The total cost, total cost of a shirt. Well, how much does a shirt cost? We don't know. That's our variable. We'll say that's W. Total. Total tells me I have to add two numbers together to find the total. So that means to add. And what am I going to add to the cost of the shirt? $8 for a pair of socks. So our expression is W, the shirt, plus $8. Sometimes we have more than one step of an expression to do, such as write the phrase five less than three times the number of points as an algebraic expression. So again, we read through it again, five less than three times the number of points. So how many points did we have? That's going to be our variable. So I work backwards. Number of points times. Times tells me to multiply. Multiply that by three. Less than. Less than tells me I have to subtract. And what am I going to subtract? That five. So I have to know the number of points first, which is three times the number of points. So that's three n. And then I have to subtract 5. Anytime it says less than, you know all of this has to go first. In our last example today, it says, please write the phrase $3 more than four times the cost of a pretzel as an algebraic expression. Well, what don't I know? $3 more than four times the cost of a pretzel. I don't know the cost of a pretzel. That's my variable. As I work backwards, times, times tells me to multiply. What am I going to multiply the cost of the pretzel by? That would be four. More than. More than tells me to add. And what am I going to add to that four times the cost of the pretzel? That's three. So to do my multiplication first, I have four W plus the three dollars. Why do I do my multiplication first? Because in the order of operations, multiplying comes first before addition. 